Have you ever wondered how, in our fast-paced, technologically driven society, the rapid advancement of technology over the past 10 years is affecting the way we communicate with each other? A lot of people are suffering from a sort of technological shock. Our minds are finding it difficult to keep up with the rapid advances in technology. The internet that is always there, and the continuous connectivity of our global community. This change has resulted in a new degree of superficiality, particularly among younger generations where internet trends have a big influence on what's cool, which has led to a lot of mental health problems. Individuals are increasingly depending on online perceptions and personalities rather than the traditional methods of establishing authentic connections through in-person interactions. Although they are not immune to this technology shock, Sigma males, a distinct and extremely independent breed of men, account for it differently than the ordinary individual. They manage to keep a small, close-knit group of pals because they are able to see past the superficiality. Sigma guys want fewer, deeper ties and partnerships. They prioritize quality over quantity in their social contacts and have high standards for what they see valuable in today's environment. This video dives into the psychology of Sigma guys and how they manage relationships in a society where people are getting more and more distant. We'll cover six reasons why they usually have a very small group of friends. Now let's get started. 1. They can feel alone, even when they are with other people. Many people consider Sigma men to be among the most intellectual and independent guys in the world. They take great satisfaction in having acquired the skills necessary to be self-sufficient and independent. A normal Sigma male loves to be independent and acquires a variety of skills and information to make sure he is never dependent on anyone. But occasionally, this sharp mentality and high IQ might put them apart from the majority of individuals. Sigma guys typically have trouble connecting with other people's cognitive processes and mindsets since they think and process things differently. Even in social situations, this can cause them to feel disengaged. Even though there are many people in the room, they may still feel alone since it appears like no one really gets their distinct way of thinking. Because of how much their viewpoints and ways of living diverge from the norm, it's normal for Sigma to feel like strangers or aliens in a crowd. Not because they are physically alone, but rather because it can be difficult to locate others who share their depth of thinking and independent spirit. They feel alone. 2. Giving versus receiving. Givers and takers are the two main categories of people in the world. Those that love giving to others, lending a hand, and adding value to their friends and family are known as givers. Being helpful and making a positive difference in the lives of individuals around them brings them happiness. Conversely, takers are more concerned with what they can obtain from other people. They frequently seek out opportunities to gain from people, maybe even abusing them. Male Sigmas are especially skilled at identifying donors from takers. They are quite good at identifying who is in it solely for their own benefit and who is truly looking to improve a connection. They prefer to be around givers or individuals that add worth and happiness to their lives. Therefore, being able to stand out is essential to them. Sigma stays away from becoming close to takers because they don't want to hang out with people who are merely looking to get what they can get out of other people. Regretfully, it appears that there are more takers than givers in society. Many are mostly interested in their advantages. Rather than considering what they have to offer, they concentrate on what they may get from others. This fact indicates that male Sigmas are very picky about who they let into their inner group. Instead of those who are constantly out to take, they search for and value those uncommon people who are givers, who contribute, and who share. They are able to establish profitable and deep relationships thanks to this discernment. Because they don't require anything from anyone, Sigma, the self-sufficient guys that they are, are nearly always givers, the ones who add value to the lives of those they care about. 3. Male Sigmas are intimidating to others. Male Sigmas are frequently identified by their exterior, which is austere and colder. They cherish their privacy and have a tendency to be solitary. 
This indicates that they are not the kind to readily communicate or divulge private information about themselves. It can be difficult for others to delve further into their relationships with them because they prefer to keep their thoughts and emotions to themselves. They are frequently perceived as scary due to their strong sense of privacy and reserved demeanor. Many can be hesitant to get in touch with them or make an effort to develop a deeper relationship since they are unclear of how to relate to someone who appears so reserved and self-contained. This has less to do with Sigma being aloof or unapproachable, and more to do with their innate tendency to keep a certain distance and reserve. They are careful about who they let in on their feelings, and how much of themselves they are willing to disclose. Because of this, developing a deeper relationship with a Sigma male can be difficult, because it requires getting past their tough exterior and discovering the more sensitive and perceptive person within. 4. A Sigma male finds no appeal in most people. The reason Sigma males don't have many friends isn't because they're averse to people or have communication issues. When they choose to interact with people, they really have the potential to be quite charming and charismatic. They tend to be reticent, not because they lack social skills, but rather because they are picky about who they choose to spend their time and energy on. Sigma frequently discovers that a lot of people simply don't pique their curiosity. They are dissatisfied with surface, level interactions, and search for substance and depth in relationships. They consequently don't make an attempt to build meaningful relationships with everyone they encounter. They have a narrower social circle as a result of their selectiveness, but these friendships are typically more significant and genuine. When Sigma does encounter someone that truly interests them, they will try to learn more about them. By choosing friends carefully, they can make sure that the people in their social circle share their beliefs and interests, which leads to more rewarding and interesting interactions. 5. It takes work to gain a Sigma's trust. It's difficult to win over a Sigma male's trust, but once you do, you've made a lifelong buddy. Trust is very important to Sigma guys and they take great pride in choosing to trust someone. It's a sign of profound regard that goes beyond merely believing in someone. The people they open up to are carefully chosen by Sigma guys. Their prior disappointments, betrayals, and hurts make them wary of putting their faith in people. Keeping to themselves is frequently easier and safer for them than taking a chance on getting wounded again. Therefore, it indicates that a Sigma male genuinely believes in the integrity and character of the person with whom he has chosen to build trust. It implies that he finds something unique in them that makes them stand out from the crowd. A Sigma male will only trust you if you have proven to be dependable, kind, and respectful. Qualities they do not take lightly. Being trusted by a Sigma male is a great honor and a symbol of a long-lasting relationship and mutual respect. 6. They don't require societal validation. Sigma men cherish their alone time since it's necessary for them to recover, think, and develop. These are not the kind of men who, in order to feel good about themselves, require continual affirmation from other people. Sigma don't work that way, in contrast to those who might try to gain as many friends as they can in order to gain acceptance from others. Their value is determined by their individual achievements and the caliber of the relationships they do have, not by the size of their social circle. Having a small group of close and trustworthy friends is far more significant to a Sigma than having a large social circle. Their personal accomplishments and the closer relationships they form with a chosen few provide them with a sense of contentment and pleasure. Their self-reliant outlook on life and interpersonal interactions demonstrates that they are confident in who they are and do not depend on other people to determine their success or value. Do you think the points I raised in this video are valid? Tell me in the comments below. Check out some of the other videos on this channel for more content on Sigma Men. I appreciate you seeing. Please like and subscribe for more content if you want to succeed in life.